Hey everyone, how are you doing? And today I'm going to share with you something a little bit different. This is a two hole breakdown from a round. This is the best hole and the worst hole of my round. Just to show you what it's like when you've got no handicap, you're still learning the game, how variable your shots can actually be. This is the good hole. And let me tell you, I got incredibly lucky to get the result that I did with this. First shot off the tee, an enormous slice, an enormous slice. I honestly thought the ball was gone. I was saying to myself, I'm going to give myself a mulligan. I'm going to take another one. So I did. And that shot, well, it went exactly the same way. It was a slice, not quite as bad though. Uh, so I found it, but good news. We found the first ball. Yeah, it was actually on the fairway of another hole. And that was the much easier shot into the hole because pretty. the second shot I took it was in the rough, uh, right underneath a tree. So it was going to be a very, very difficult shot. So I just wanted to get this lofted towards the green. The green's kind of unsighted from where we are right now. But there is a water hazard on the right. I didn't get a nice contact with it. It's a little bit of a slice. You can see that from my swing. But I got lucky again because it hit a massive tree right by the water hazard. And that stopped it from going into the water. It still it wasn't as lucky tree. as my third shot, though. So check this out. I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to chip it fairly low. I wanted to get a bit of height on it, not the height I got. And I've actually managed to find the one hole in between the branches and the trees. The ball has gone right through it and landed right next to the hole. And I mean right next to the hole. I couldn't do that again if I tried. In fact, it almost went in for what would have been the most absurd birdie ever. I wasn't trying to get the shot that high. So as you can imagine, there is an incredible amount of luck involved in this. But you've got to take it. So as you can imagine, we don't miss that putt. Um, we hole it. Right. And make sure we don't there we go. This. We take a par, imagine. which honestly we didn't deserve. But you've got to take those where they come Honestly, just as a little bonus nice i thought i would try my there, second right? shot this is where my second shot off the tee landed as you can see it's a very very awkward lie it's in it's in some pretty heavy rough and there's a tree right in front of me i was trying sure to like loft it over the tree i just thought let's see if i could make this shot and i couldn't quite get enough height on it as you can see it does hit the trees and it actually landed right in front of another tree, blocking my next shot to the green. So that would have been a horrible shot. Moving on now to hole seven, a 271 yard par four. And this one was a stinker. Driver off the tee and it wasn't even the worst shot that I'd hit this day. I didn't get very much height on it, but it didn't slice too bad. Ended up in the middle of the fairway. So distance wasn't great. I didn't make great contact with it, but it's in the fairway. We'll so take that all day long. But then this is where it starts to go badly. I couldn't have asked for a better lie. I couldn't have asked for a better lie into the green with a pitching wedge. Perfect for me. I hit the pitching wedge all the time. For some reason, though, I, it was almost like I just didn't feel comfortable over the ball. I just didn't feel like I was going to make good contact with it, and I didn't. I've since watched this back, obviously, a few times, and I can see some of the things that I'm doing. I think my hips were it, turning a little bit too much, maybe extending a little bit, and that meant my arms were sort of coming in behind yeah, warm, uh, my yeah, body, if that makes sense. Oh, an and uh, like you can tell with my backswing as well that I'm overextending that quite a bit. So I know a couple of things that I'm doing, but it's frustrating when you can do it really well on previous shots. This six iron onto the third hole, really nice shot, landed me right in front of the green. Why can't I replicate that? Well, we had a chance here to, uh, you know, make it right with another shot into the green with a sand wedge. So hopefully we'll hit that. But again, exactly the same. I topped it, sent it right on to the end of the uh, end of the green. So, so far, this has been a bit of a nightmare hole. This is now our fourth shot on a par four. So we don't want to mess this one up, do we? But sadly, you can't really see because it's off camera here. There's actually a tree right behind me, which is stopping me... Uh, from extending properly it got snagged a little bit on my downswing but honestly i just didn't hit it well and i've sent it well past the hole don't worry though my chipping's been excellent so i'm just going to chip this back onto the green yeah didn't give it quite enough beans but at least it didn't go past the hole in an ideal world we'd sink this putt take our pain walk away but it wasn't to be we put it close but it is what it is we ended that hole on a triple bogey 
And that's just the variation you have when you're at my level. No you're going to have good holes, you're going to have bad holes. There's too many. That, I think, is the worst hole I've played in as long as I can remember. It's like I've just forgotten how to hit a golf shot. Yeah, you did forget how to hit a golf shot. Until next time, also, be sure to like and subscribe.